Sure. Hey guys, my name is James Massell and I'm with Movie Death Blows. Thanks for talking to me today. Thank you. Jamie, I've been such a big fan of yours since your turn as Gordon on Marvel Agents of Shield, which for some like it's almost 10 years ago that you were on that at that point, and it feels like it was just yesterday at this point. I just wanted to tell you that ahead of time. Well, you've just aged me, but thank you so much. <laughs> That was okay. that was fun. That was a wild show where you never you never knew where it was going. It was bizarre. I went back and did a rewatch a couple of years, but like when COVID was going on, because I had a lot of free time. Like the show is incredible. Like it was so much better to watch it as one rather than breaking up, you know, weeks yeah, and absolutely. seasons and stuff like that. Absolutely. But the uh, first question I have for you is going back to season one, how much fun was it getting to work with your older brother Jared? And do you ever get to like make fun of him that you know he got bumped off and your character's still around? Well, I, I was I was delighted with that, him getting killed. Um, <laughs> but you know, sadly enough, when we did talk to producers about it, was we never had a scene together, and we kept like you know meeting them in the bar in Prague at, at night, going, "Guys, can't you write a scene?" And they promised they would, but they never did. They just said those two those two characters would never meet. I was I was in a different social level than Jared, but we would nip into each other's. Um, because you know they had two they had two film crews working at the same time so i'd be working on one film crew and jared on the other and we would nip into each other's sets and watch each other work it was a lot of fun jared was a lot of fun on that he really i felt um he really brought the cast together and you know made sure there were dinners where people got you know so we all got to know each other outside of the set it was wonderful sure thanks you know, Jay, I know you got to play a new character on this season named Kane, and you got to work with Eric previously in Daredevil. What, what made you want to join Carnival Row? I actually originally read for Carnival Row when it first, first came out, where, where there was talk of it, of the show happening, and it was like 2017, I think, something like that. And so I knew about the show, and I remember reading the script, and I was like, this is going to be an amazing, amazing show. And it didn't work out. I remember I read for Agraeus's role. And oh. uh, yeah, it was quite interesting. And then they they kind of scrapped it and changed it all around. And then I didn't get around to it going again. But um, And then we did Daredevil. And then I remember having dinner with Eric. And Eric was like, oh, I'm going on to Carnival Row now. And I was like, amazing. That sounds like an amazing show. I heard all about it and it sounded amazing. And everyone, it was one of Amazon's first like fantasy shows. So like there was a lot of hype behind it. And then one day Eric called me and he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, not much. I just finished doing, was it The Purge or something like that in, in New Orleans? And I was like, I've just got back. And he was like, fancy coming to Prague. I've got this character for you. And I was like, yep, <laughs> let's do it. And, <laughs> And that was it. So, like, I'd known about this show and I'd always was super interested in it and it always sounded amazing. I remember when it first came out and everyone was reading for it, like, everyone read for it and everyone was super excited about this show. So I I, I, I thought my chance had passed to be a part of this show, but then when Eric gave me the opportunity to be in it, I jumped at the chance. Yeah, I was talking to Eric before this and I was telling him how much I loved you and Daredevil Season 3 as Agent Nadim. Like, I was there at New York at Comic-Con with you guys when you premiered it and everything and it was such a fun experience. Oh, I, was wow. like, I was like, I was like, I feel like every time, you know, he writes a part for you, I was like, this Jay can't catch a break in any of this. There's always something going wrong with his characters. And like he does everything uh, possible and it still goes wrong at that point. You must be torturing uh, this man. Yeah. Let's see what happens this season. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Jamie in, in season one, Sergeant Dombey's a real piece of work, I would say. But in season two, there are moments where we see him, you know, being humanized to a certain extent. Like we get to see that, you know, he's a family man. He has a wife and a son. Is that something you were excited to portray? Or did you kind of want to keep him as like the, you know, evil one track mind kind of person? No, I was really excited to play that. Because I think, as I was, I was saying yesterday, you, you, you can't just play a racist. It, it becomes, it just becomes one note because you've got to go behind and find out why he is that way. And um, during COVID, Eric called me and he said, um, listen, do you do a lot of background on your character? And I said, yeah, I've got books of it. He said, can you send me anything that you think is relevant? And if I think it's relevant, I'll put it in. And I sent him my family life that I built up. And he, he liked it. He changed it. He made it better. And, uh, and that became into it. And I, I thought that was vital to show 
that he, you know that he is a father of a son that he loves and a lot of it he's doing to protect his son and the evil of his father like you know my, my father in it is in a wheelchair he can't walk and he's got pritch horns all on the wall and, and he's drinking his whiskey and you see what kind of racist he was and that evil has, has been passed on to me and I don't want it passed on to my son. So there is an evolution, even in that one scene. It was brilliantly depicted. That that's one of my favorite scenes in the whole in the whole season so far, just when you come in the door and you like immediately change from like hard copper to, you know, family man that loves everybody and everything like that. Well, I thank you for that. I should also say how astute you are, because yes, it is it is a great scene. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Uh what was I just gonna ask you? I forgot what it was. Oh, do you, when, so, I mean, towards the, you know, as the series progresses, we see your character, Dombey, becomes more of like, uh, like him and Philo are, are friendly, but they're not as antagonistic as they used to be. It kind of reminds me of like a Sherlock Holmes, Lestrade kind of relationship where he's the official and the other guy's kind of not at that point. Did you kind of get that? Yeah, it, it was really, listen, I'm not talking out of school. It was really good fun uh, acting with Orlando on the changes because, we were both. We both acknowledged the change was great, but we couldn't stop swearing at each other during the scene. <laughs> a lot of those, a lot of those put downs were not in the script. We just kept doing it, and it was a lot of fun to do. And, and I and I thought it was a great arc for my character and for his to realize that you don't have to like each other necessarily to realize that what you've done as a person may be may be wrong. And to see and to see that you know to see the mistakes you've made and to come to terms with it. Sure, uh, Jay. Last question, real quick, before we wrap up. How much fun was it getting to work with Kara? And like, what was the relationship like between you guys on set? Oh, mate, it was so much fun. She's she's a lot of fun. Like, there was never a dull moment. I mean, like, you know, she keeps it light. Uh, uh, you know, in between takes, she's got her music playing. She's always joking around. Like it was, it, honestly, it never felt like work. It never felt like work. She was always just made. It was always very, very light, even though we're doing some very, very dark scenes. And she was just like, yeah, one of the gang. You know, like it really was just one one of those things. And and she was she was so lovely. She was so kind. My son would come on set, and she'd always like get him gifts and. She got him a Neymar soccer shirt because she's mates with him. And she was asking me, what does Remy like? And I was like, oh, he loves Neymar. And um, next day she came in with a signed shirt from from Neymar. And like, you know, she's a sweetheart. She's an absolute sweetheart. And she did an amazing job on this show as well. Like what a, this role was written for her. You know, like she was brilliant. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you talking to me today. And I hope I get to speak with you sometime in the future. Thank Cheers, you. Man. Thanks a lot, man. See you.